creep up on you, you know. Oh, 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 Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. Howdy, viewers. Thank you for returning if you have returned. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is parts 4 and 5 of Arcadia for Amateurs. And I did parts 1 through 3 in a separate video because their combined total footage, even with editing, would have been about a 40-minute video. And it takes that long for everything to upload, and yeah. And I even had to edit this video down a little bit by fast-forwarding. So I'll warn you, there's going to be some fast-forwarding. So let's get on with Arcadia for Amateurs, Parts 4 and 5. They creep up on you, you know. Oh, 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 Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. All into the west. All into the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. They brought 10,000 skins out of the swamp. Oh, look! On that little beach. Boars! If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? For one, there in the channel, you see its head poking up there. Line us up to it, aim us at him, and I'll get the shot. Uh, not quite there. Turn closer now, closer. Excellent. Beast in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. 
There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. Ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Now, if you get hung up like I did, they will reset and you can continue rowing. And it'll fade out and uh, fade back in to like this is happening and you can keep rowing. Stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. That's the spirit. How you doing, then? Get him in. Shotgun with a slug because we're dealing with a gator. And, well, just don't do what I did because it didn't work out too well. Eat you, too. I hope you're slow. Like a dummy, I tried to scare the alligator and got away from the boat. So now I'm going to do this a little different, and you're going to see how I did it and how I end up getting the gator to come to the boat and get a good photograph. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. How's he doing? Get him in the... 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 I don't like this. Not one bit. I hope you're slow. Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! This isn't a hunting trip. Please put it down. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Ah, yes. Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. And that is part four of Arcadia for Amateurs. It is the longest part, and I combined it with part five, which is the shortest part. So let's get on with part five. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? 
No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. As stated, part five was the shortest one. And Albert Mason decides to not be a nature photographer. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week in relation to video games as well as some shorts and potential specials. You don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for stopping by.